And let's go to the phones and talk to you guys and see what you think. Who's this and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Seattle. I, I just want to say, I hope you guys all realize that you're getting the best of the best. Thank you. Not only is the is he the best coach, but he's also one of the best human beings I've ever observed. He's got a sense of humility. He's authentic. He's a good guy. And you're going to love your new offense. And I'm going to, he, he's made me an Alabama fan. Wow. So that's all I can say. And uh, you, it, anybody I've watched some of these YouTube conferences with some of these guys that are dissing the guy because he wasn't from the sec forget all that thank you this guy everybody's going to want to play for this guy you're going to love him thank you so let me ask you a couple questions before you get off uh first off what's your name rich, rich. richard rich yeah tell, tell me what the experience was like when he arrived because you guys had one hell of a football team. I mean, no, there's no doubt about it. You 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 beat all the best. I, I'm guessing that the offensive coordinator Rick Grubb will be the next head coach. I, that's who I would pick if I was in Washington, just to kind of keep this thing going there. But what was it like the transition? Exactly. Tell me what that was like for you guys, and and just share with our audience because a lot of people have been concerned over him being able to recruit, but just everything that I've seen. Uh, and just listening to his humility, uh, what he just had to say on stage. I mean, it just seems like this guy really, Kalen DeBoer, has it all put together. Yes, he's the real deal. Everything we you, we all heard today is authentic and honest. And when he came to the University of Washington the previous year, we were four and eight, and the coach was fired. He 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 had pushed a player, and it was just a bad situation. And Kalen DeBoer came in and people were asking the same questions. You guys are all asking, who is this guy? You know, he came from Fresno state, but the thing he did immediately and what he did probably last night and today is he had conversations, intimate conversations, loving conversations with the players and telling them, you know, what he's all about. And, and the fact that he's loyal to Alabama now, and he wants these these kids to enjoy the experience, to be winners, and to basically stay here. That's his job right now. It's a tough job, right? There's the portal. People don't know this guy. The players don't know this guy. But in a matter of a week, he had the whole Husky team coming back in fact he had six year seniors that could have gone to the nfl coming around for one more year that's how great this guy is they wanted to play for him the brotherhood was undeniable you will you will fall in love with this guy you guys are so lucky you know i heard about dan lanning he out coached lanning with 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 inferior players he beat lanning three times he was three and all against oregon one last year, two this year. Against Sarkeesian, he beat Sarkeesian in the Fiesta Bowl a year ago, or the Alamo Bowl, excuse me. And this year, he beat, he beat as we all know, he beat Texas in the uh, playoff. So, I mean, you guys, <laughs> we're all sick in Seattle. But we understand, because he's such a good guy, we're willing to, to let him go and wish him well. Are you still with yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, man. I'm just I, honestly, I, this is a great call. I mean, I, I'm so glad that you called in because you're giving our audience some perspective here. I've been on the channel basically saying, hey, we need to support this guy. No one's going to be Nick Saban, but I'll tell you what, this is the right. best coaching search that I've seen since I've been at Alabama. Even when we got Nick Saban, Alabama actually tried to hire Rich Rodriguez. He took the job and then turned it down. It took our athletic director camping out in Nick Saban's driveway and begging him to come to get him. You know, this I'm excited about him, but also I could tell that there was a real passion for the players in Washington and that this was a very difficult decision. But it's good to hear from someone that that is a, a fan of Washington to kind of give the audience this perspective. So I, I really appreciate you you calling in. Yeah, and, and also, let's not forget 
that you know that that Coach Saban wanted to bring Ryan Grubb, the offensive coordinator. He offered him a good deal to come to to Alabama last year. So you're getting <laughs> your offense is going to be really exciting with the right players. And and like Coach DeBoer said, there's no doubt that he will. It, he will fix his offense to his talent. In other words, if it's a run, if, if you look like you have great runners and not so great passers, you'll probably have a great running attack. I, I, I just can't. I'm, we're all sick in a way, but we understand because Alabama is the, the top of the mountain in terms of, you know, football legacy and, and tradition. And, you know, I don't resent the guy for wanting to coach at Alabama. We understand it. Well, Rich, thank you for the call, brother. I really appreciate it. Good luck to you guys. And I think I'll be pulling for Washington now, too. You know, just kind of after talking to you and seeing Coach DeBoer and kind of the direction that things are going, we don't play you guys a whole lot. I don't have a Big Ten team, so maybe I do now. And thank you for uh, spending some time with us today. Well, thank you. All right, great call. That's, That's a great way to get things started.